The release of Ubuntu 12.10 brings a range of new features to the Ubuntu desktop, but what are some of the best to be looking out for? We're here with a quick top 10 rundown. Who said that the web and the desktop have to be separate? Ubuntu's new web apps feature integrates over 30 popular websites with various features of the Unity desktop. From social networks in the messaging menu, mail and news alerts on the launcher, to controlling music websites directly from the sound menu. Applications, files and more can now be previewed directly in the dash with a right click. Depending on the type of app or file you're previewing, you'll see different options or preview styles. For example, previewing music gives you a nifty in-dash music player. As a gift to the lazy amongst us, previews also allow you to install free applications without using the Ubuntu Software Center. Ubuntu 12.10's online accounts feature takes the hassle out of setting up IM clients, email clients, and so on. You just add your accounts once, and then you're done. Apps that can hook into your online account's data include the new photo lens, which lets you preview and filter photos from your social networks, chat app empathy, social client Gwibba, and the photo manager Shotwell, which lets you publish photos to Facebook, Picasa, and more. We all appreciate security, and those who are particularly security conscious will appreciate the new encryption features built into Ubuntu's installer. Another power user feature making an appearance is the ability to log in to remote desktops directly from the login screen. This works by adding your remote desktop data to your Ubuntu One Single Sign-On account, which you then log in with using the login screen to gain access to your remote desktop connections. As a boon for those who use lots of apps, Windows can now be closed directly from the application spread. Ubuntu One users will appreciate the new dedicated sync menu, along with the file searching and sharing features present in the desktop app. To help fund Ubuntu, Amazon product suggestions appear as you type in the dash. For each item you buy through this, a small percentage will go to Ubuntu. Don't like it? Don't worry. Just flick the off switch in the privacy settings for product-free dash searching. For more information on the feature, just click the legal link in the dash to read Canonical's privacy policy. Finally, let's not overlook the small changes made to Ubuntu's default theme. These include new switches, hover states, buttons, widget styles, animations for minimising applications, and a dozen or so new wallpapers to choose from.